Cobra Kai. I'm kidding. Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and in a few short moments, I'm going to be heading off to Los Angeles, California to visit some of the most iconic locations from Cobra Kai and Karate Kid. Get ready, because this is going to be the trip of a lifetime, and I'm going to bring you guys on the entire journey with me. Oh shoot! I'm going to miss my flight! What's up guys? I'm about to go to the first location in this Cobra Kai Karate Kid location visit in California. The first location we're gonna go to is Mahalan Scenic Overlook. This location comes from season one, episode one, Ace Degenerate. This is when Johnny's boss, Mike, calls him up on the phone and then Johnny tells him, I didn't call her a bitch, I said she was bitching at me. No, 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 I didn't call her a bitch, I said she was bitching at me. So that's where we're gonna go. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us, but we're gonna head over there now and we'll see you there. Okay, we're about to get to the Mahalan Scenic Overlook, and this is one of the few locations in Cobra Kai that was actually filmed in Los Angeles. Oh, is it at it? I think that is it. Oh, did they take down the fence? They probably took down the fence. Okay, okay, let's get out, let's get out. like a whole wooden fence in the actual episode obviously they probably took it down so it's obviously changed a little bit it's been like four years which is kind of hard to believe we're in the freaking valley this is awesome look at this no 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 i didn't call her a bitch i said she was bitching at me there's a difference oh no no i didn't call her a bitch i said she was bitching at me there's a difference No, 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 no. I ain't call her a bitch. I said she was bitching at me. There's a difference. You're firing me because of that bitch? Whatever. I hate this damn job anyway. You better pay me what you owe me, Mike. Mike? Banzai! Daniel LaRusso here from LaRusso Auto, bringing you specials on all of our inventory. Okay, we're going to our next location, which is Johnny's apartment. This is where they get all of the exterior shots of Johnny's apartment in Cobra Kai. We are literally on Reseda Boulevard, and then turning right onto Burbank Boulevard. You know, all these names are like mentioned in the show. All the, the locations in LA, when they name drop a location in Cobra Kai, it's all true to the exact location. This is freaking Cobra Kai world. Oh my, is that it? Is that it? It's just, wait, wait. Oh my God, I thought I saw something with the Johnny Lawrence. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think that this is it. This is it. Oh. 
Alright, hold on, hold on. You can see it's like, it's like structured similar. So this is not where they actually film, but it looks different. You know, there's a pool in here, obviously in Cobra Kai, there's not an actual pool. Cause this is not where they actually film. This is just where they film all the outside shots. But you can see like even the apartments on the side, like the same door, same colors. They, they, make, they make it look similar as if it were the location, um, which is pretty cool. Like they, they built that set based around this. Imagine living here and like being like, I live in Johnny Lawrence's apartment. Like, this is iconic. Yeah. Really? So you live here? Yeah. But you haven't watched over time. Uh -uh. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Uh, did you watch Karate Kid? Um, the movie when I was a kid. You know, the, the, the boy with the blonde hair. Uh huh. This is his apartment. Oh. Now, like 34 years later. Like modern day. Okay, what a trip. So that makes sense because, like, when I first moved in a year ago, I saw what looked like professional photographers taking pictures of the building from across the street. Okay. So that was, maybe that's were, the footage they used. That's probably. Yeah. Right. Is it a good show? It's amazing. Okay. You'll like it. You'll like it. 18,555. You can see those numbers in the show when they show this shot of the building. These people live where Johnny Lawrence and Miguel Diaz live. Like, that's the coolest thing to me. If I were living here, I would pee my pants every day. This is where Johnny Lawrence turns after. This is where he pulls up. That's where the freaking Lil Russo auto sign is there, right up there. Johnny freaking stops over there at this red light. Those are all the same signs, the urgent care. Those are the Tarzana village. It's all of that. And then that's literally where the Lil Russo billboard is. And Johnny turns left out of there. Oh my God, that's freaking insane. Oh my god. Okay, we are now driving through Encino Commons. We got a couple Encino signs. This is where Johnny drives. Oh, that's the sign up there. That's the sign up there. Right here, we're about to pass it. Yes, this is what we've been looking for. I can barely make it through the week. There it is. Johnny, William Zapka, Johnny Lawrence drove right there. Oh my god. Nice, the valley's miracle mile and snow comments. Look at that. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, we're now driving to the outside of the cigar lounge where Johnny tries to hit on that jogger in season one, episode one, Ace Degenerate. Uh, he pulls his car over, you know, tries to hit on her. She calls him a creep and then he drives away. So we're gonna uh, go right outside of where they filmed that. All right, so here we are. This is where Johnny Lawrence is in his Firebird. He drives here. He's in this lane right here. There's the jogger. It's literally right here. This is where that jogger is. She's like stretching and doing all the this and that. And he's like trying to hit on her. He's like, hey, and then she runs away. I believe this way, because there's a path. There's a path right there. And then she calls him a creep. And that's when he like puts on the sunglasses. And he's about to drive off. And Cino is right down there, so. Hey, creep. Hi, I see it right there. This is the iconic Cobra Kai mural. Everybody's been talking about this. Oh my God, I see freaking hot. What the freak? Oh my. That's insane. 
Ah, uh, Tori, Miguel, Johnny Crease, bro, they gave me got the tattoo. Daniel, Robbie, Sam, Dimitri. Oh my god, this is back in, from season two. Oh, I guess that's the person who made the account at Never1959, right? Shout out to them. Cobra Kai season three, Miyagi now. Wax on myself, we got Daniel from season three. Johnny, Buffet. Fight like an eagle. Buffet. Y'all see him on the other side of the building? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Show me wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey. Take care. Get him a body bag. Yeah. Oh. Patty Johnson was the stunt coordinator for the Karate Kid. Show you okay? Can you go on? William Zabka, Johnny Lawrence. Ooh. And of course, sweep the leg, Mr. Lawrence. Do you have a problem with that? No sensei. No mercy. Alright, so you guys probably know where we're going based on the music that's playing. Terry Silver's mansion, also known as the Ennis House. It's closed to the public from the inside, so we're not gonna be able to go inside, but we'll see the outside of it. If we do see Terry, I mean, like, maybe he could teach me some quick silver. Man can't stand the campfire, so we'll see. Oh, that's it, that's it, keep going, keep going. Right there, that's it. Oh my God, that's it. Oh my God, that's Terry Silver's mansion. That's the Ennis house. Can you believe this? Jeez. Of course this is where Silver lives. Hi. <laughs> Terry Silver's mansion. I'll be honest, I'm a little intimidated. I kind of feel like Terry's gonna just pop out any second. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. That, wait, wait, wait. I think that's the corridor from Karate Kid Part 3 when Kreese like comes in and is walking down. Like he first sees Terry Silver. This is the front gate. Silver comes out of that door and that's when like Margaret and his assistants are all like, you know, he's like going to like get in his car and then um, he's coming out of this gate. All right, so we got this chain here. So obviously we're not allowed to go in or anything. So we kind of have to like stand behind here, but I mean, we gotta step foot on Terry Silver's house. Like, gotta step foot in the house. I mean, I, I'm sure if I step like here, it should be fine. Like, if just... <laughs> All right, we we won't do that. We won't do that. I'll just I'll stay here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mr. Silver, I'm not doing the tournament, man. I'm not doing the tournament. Hey, this isn't a joke anymore. I'm not signing the application, Silver. Hey, screw you, man. 
You wanna come out here and fight? Let's go! Yo, well, this guy's dead! Hey, you're dead, man! But I'm not signing, I'm not doing the tournament, I'm not doing the match. I'll sign him, get in the ring, we'll see you laughing then, huh? We'll see you smiling then, you're gonna be dead meat! What? <laughs> Terry Silver? <laughs> He's, <in it? laughs> He's after me? <laughs> The door is open. Terry Silver has spotted us. His dog has already been sent after us. It's only a matter of time before Silver finds us. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out. Bye, Terry Silver's mansion. On to the next one. Here you go. No thanks, pal. Tommy, who are you kidding? You're still the ace degenerate. No, man, ex degenerate. 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm a senior. I got one year to make it work. That's what I'm gonna do. Make it work. Oh, is that right? That's right, man. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hey, 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 Terry. I think it was a candle shop. And maybe if it's open, whatever it is, we can go on the inside. Hopefully we don't run into any Cobra Kai's though. That would not be good. All right, we're coming up on it. It should be on the right side. Still a little, a little further. Oh, this definitely looks familiar. It's like on a corner. That's it, that's it, right? That's it, where the sunglasses are. This is it. Five, two, three, three. Oh my God, we could go in. Let's pull over and let's check it out. Alright, so we're coming up on the dojo for- Oh, this is it. This is it. And then right over there, too. Right over there, that's where um, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi crossed the street, you know, right after they went into the Cobra Kai dojo. I cannot believe this. What? But you just got me into in there. Huh? You said you were gonna make things better for me. Uh, oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in, but first- Oh, wait! Candles! That's so, that, that's what Terry Silver said. I'm pretty sure it was a candle shop. That is so, so cool. So it's actually like, they're being like authentic to the actual place. So I guess they sell candles in here? So now you know where they came up with candle shop right there. I kill! I kill! I kill! I'm a fan of this. Like, it's cool, right? People come in a lot too, like to check it out. Yeah, this is like, even the inside is this. Oh my god, it's actually crazy. Yeah, are you a fan? I'm a fan. Too. I haven't watched the new series though. Only like the original. The new series is good too. That's what everyone says. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I haven't checked it out yet though. I knew what's funny too is um, they actually bring back this location. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're using like a set now. Okay. But they're like kind of pretending like they're bringing back this location. Uh, and they even say, one of the characters says, uh, it was like abandoned. And they say, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a candle shop. That's so funny. They say that. You know, that's yeah. actually really funny because I think the director of that show actually came and he wanted to film here and he was not happy that it was like a filled shop <laughs> like i think he thought it was like an empty location so it didn't go exactly the way he wanted it to but still you feel free if you want to run around or like, yeah thank you of course. this is where the karate map is all the cobra kai's are trading like literally where we're standing is where the map this would be the front of the class so like you know even johnny yeah johnny Bowing, you know, and then like a fighting position. And that scene where he looks across and he sees Daniel, Daniel goes into the exit. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And then here, this is, they still have the back room. But in Karate Kid Part 3, Terry Silver went into here when he was saying, you know, I make winners into wimps, not the other way around. And he goes like, behind that wall. I make wimps into winners, not the other way around. Christ, I'm wasting my time. You also had Terry Silver come out of there, and then that's when Mike Barnes came out. Like, I'm always talking about shithead. I'm always talking about shithead. Quicksilver was like taught like right here. I think there was the punching bag here. Man I can't stand, he can't fight. Rule number one. A man can't stand, he can't fight. It's pretty cool that we're in it. What's with the uh, karate place? No, it sucks. Good, because we probably couldn't afford it anyway. All right, so we just came out of the Cobra Kai Dojo right here. And then right across the street, we have the Orient Express. This is where Daniel and his mom and Seal have lunch, and they're literally sitting down here when the Cobra Kai's come out of the dojo. They come and then they see Daniel eating with his mom. We're not quitters, are we? Guess not. 
not believe this. I cannot believe this. What? You said you were gonna make things better for me. Bad, D. How? How? Just to save you two months of beating. Oh, great. Now I have something to really to look forward to. Oh, God. Okay, we are in Encino and we're now going to Ali's house. We should be just down this road. So pretty cool. Just this boy from Reseda from Newark, New Jersey, you know. Now in the hills, like look how far we've come. We're ready for this. I didn't know. That's it, that's it, that's it, right there. That's it, that's it, that's Ali's house. Oh my God, you're right there. Oh my God. God! Allie with an eye! Allie with an eye! This is the original house, it looks exactly the same. And then this is also where Daniel and Lucille and Allie, like when they're trying to kickstart the car, they drive down that way. Pop it! So the car was parked here, Daniel got out. So oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And then th that's where he met Mrs. Mills, right here. This is where he met Mr. and Mrs. Mills. And that's, so this bridge thing, that's he accidentally kicked that off. Hi, I guess we're going to golf. Okay. That's where Howie came at him, right in that house. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? That's where, that's where Mr. and Mrs. Mills were parked. Bye, Ali's house. See you guys. Okay, we're now on our way to one of the most iconic locations in Karate Kid, and that is the South Seas apartment complex where Daniel and Lucille live. So excited to check this one out. This is this is the big one. Is that it? That's it, that's it, that's it! That's it, South Seas! Woo! Oh my God, that's it! Oh, 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 that was it, that was the South Seas. This is it, my darling son. This is the Garden of Eden. Open your eyes, my darling son. This is the Garden of Eden. This is the hallway where Daniel LaRusso walked through when Mrs. Milo was directing him to Mr. Miyagi's apartment. Daniel's apartment up there. 
know, I really think we're gonna do good here. I have a very positive feeling, I'm telling you, Daniel. All right, so there's people actually living in there. Someone lives in the LaRusso house, which, I mean, like, come on. Like, in that house, like, inside, even though we can't see the inside, the inside is how it is in Karate Kid. Should I tell them? Uh, that, that's, that was my old house. I used to live there, Ma. What was it like? Did you did you get to meet them? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I took, I took a picture with them right over here. That was pretty cool. But when they came to do the Karate Kid, I was here. It was, like, 2017, right? Uh... I think so. Okay, four or five years. It, it's cool how it's like the same. I know. Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. And there's water in the pool. <laughs> I'm like Karate Kid. It's actually water in the pool. Check out the side of the building. Oh, that's it. This is the spot where so much happened. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. This is not real. Mr. Miyagi's office is in there. Hey, Mr. Miyagi, can you fix, can you fix our faucet? When are you gonna fix the faucet? And he's like, after. After. After, after what? After what? After, after. After, after. This area may seem familiar. That's where Daniel was running away from the Cobra Kai's from all the skeletons. He tried to jump the fence and then, you know, they pulled him down, beat him up. Mr. Miyagi jumped over. This whole street was just grass. So this was it. This is where Daniel was running. Cobra Kai's, then Miyagi comes out of nowhere. I gotta come prepared. The Cobra Kai team doesn't mess around. One of my favorite scenes from The Karate Kid is the scene where Daniel throws his bike away. And his mom asks, Daniel, why'd you throw your bike away? And Daniel responds, Because I felt like it, Mom. You know, while we're here, while we got the bike,
nothing. I Why did you throw your bike away? Because I felt like it, Ma. Would you tell me what's going on here and don't tell me about another bike accident? No, Ma, you don't want to hear the truth. You just want to hear how great it is. Well, maybe it's great for you, but it sucks for me, Ma. It sucks. I hate this place. I just want to go home. Why can't we just go home? I cannot help you unless you tell me what's wrong. I got to take karate, Ma. You took karate? No, not at the Y. At a good school. Fighting doesn't solve anything. Well, I just want to go home. Like, I don't understand the rules here, and I'm gonna go home. Oh, 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 why can't we just go home? Why can't we just forget this place and go home? Okay, we're now on our way to West Valley High, where everybody in the valley, well, the West Valley, went to school. LaRusso, Zapka, Johnny, Ali. Oh my god, this is it. We're here. This is it. This is the school. This is it. This is West Valley High. This is where they all went to school. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure the Cobra Kai's were like right here on their bikes. They were like, like right here, like Johnny and Bobby, Jimmy, Dutch, Tommy, they were all chilling over here. You can see this sign in the movie. They can and show this sign. This building dedicated to truth, liberty, toleration by the native sons of the Golden West. Andrew, the, uh, yeah. anyway. Oh my God. This is where Daniel and Allie and then Susan, this is where they all walk down. And then in there, you can see the lockers down there. And then in the middle, we can't get in because it's, it's gated up. But in the middle is the courtyard. That was where Daniel was walking with Allie. And then you uh, had Daniel, the whole scene with Mr. Harris. I'd like to go to school here. That's, that's sick. So right now we are walking on the infamous soccer field from the Karate Kid. Like the school is right back there and this is the whole field. You know, this is where we had the scene of Daniel, you know, playing against the Cobra Kai's and then Bobby tripped him and he punched him. He's like, this school sucks, man. This school sucks. This school sucks. This school sucks, man. I shut out of here. Sucks. Also, Allie with an I, Daniel with an L. You know, they had all their interactions over here. Hey, what's your name? Allie, with an I. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Daniel, with an L. I'll see you later. Oh, oh my ass. I landed on my glasses. This is Miyagi, I need, I, need, I need the technique right now.
So this is it. Golfing stuff is our last location. It did take place at nighttime. It'll be sad to finish this journey of location scouting, but it was one heck of a journey and I'm so glad that I Estimated did it. time in traffic, eight minutes. What the f Oh my God, that's it, that's golfing stuff. Holy crap, yo. Young husky fast. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. Dude, 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 that's the sign. That's the sign. Oh my, this is, oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. We're parking. Damn it, I like parked like right there. And that's where they exited. This is it, this is golf and stuff. This is it. This is it. Golf and stuff. This is it, right here. Jeez. That's awesome. We were oh just god. talking about that. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy. These are a bunch of snapshots from Daniel and Ali's date. Like all of these iconic things that they did. The golfing, the hockey, the car, everything. Oh, nice! Nice. <laughs> no mercy. Wow, I mean, what a trip. Going to Johnny's apartment, South Seas, Terry Silver's mansion, Allie's house. I couldn't have asked for more. Being there, I felt like I was in the Karate Kid universe. It was so special. And those feelings that I had being at the locations, I will never forget how I felt. I mean, I just made an entire video on the experience, so of course I'm never gonna forget it. There were some locations that we didn't get to on this trip, but I can guarantee you that the next time I go to LA, I will definitely be going to those ones. And also, I made sure to get myself a candle from the original Cobra Kai Dojo. That way I will always have a piece of memorabilia from this trip. And somehow the spirit of Mr. Miyagi was able to sneak into the Cobra Kai Dojo and sprinkle a little balance there. I want to thank you all so much for supporting me here on Cobra Kai Kid and allowing me to share my experiences with you all. I'm so blessed to have this and I truly mean it. You guys are the best. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed this Cobra Kai Karate Kid location visit. I'll see you all next time on Cobra Kai Kid. And until then, remember, Cobra Kai never dies. Yeah!